This is ZNS Total Sport. Welcome to sports, everybody. I'm Chris Saunders. Those in the rugby and soccer communities came together Saturday to help one of their own. Damian Neville was injured a while back and a soft touch rugby tournament was held in an effort to raise some funds for him. The tournament also gave our women's national team another opportunity to get some work in before they head off to Trinidad and Tobago for international competition in short order. They've improved a lot. They had a tournament in Miami about a month or two ago. Um, where they actually won the game over there. Um, they were impressive, everyone. The Caribbean watching them. Um, on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, you could see that the girls getting their respect. Um, looking at them today, you know, they won and won today. The talent is there, you can see the improvement of them. And as um, Kevin Salabi and Peter Lan, who's the coaches, I always praise them the work that they're doing. The Bahamas Governmental Departmental Basketball Association's best of three first round playoffs are underway at the AF Adley Gym. Julian Gibson was courtside Saturday night as the Police Crime Stoppers took on the Real Deal Rangers. Chris, the Police Crime Stoppers, they struggled with the Real Deal Rangers for basically all of the game. But down the stretch, the Police Crime Stoppers would put the handcuff on the Real Deal Rangers, taking game one 98 to 91. All season over, but two weeks ago, and we had a long break. Uh, Overrested, uh, but you know we're a better team, so at the end just uh, call our plays, settle on, execute, and we know everything's going to be okay. The two-week layoff kill us. Uh, we're trying to get our legs back, but once we execute, you know no team could beat us. Now for the real deal, Rangers coach James Price knew he had this one in the bag, but he expects to bounce back strong for game two. They practice in every day, every week, so it don't be no flat. When you practice, what you get, you get better rhythm. So we just got to come and steal game two and let it go to game three. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I'm Julian Gibson. All right, Julian, thanks a lot. Also Saturday night, the Defense Force Mariners, pardon me, Marines, took the upper hand in their series with the Airport Authority Avengers. The Marines won that game one, 101-95. They'll now try to complete the sweep on Wednesday. It's going to take all out of us. It's going to take my guys to keep their composure and just play the game we know. And once my guys stay focused and keep their composure, we could. We wouldn't play the way we were playing if we didn't have any confidence that we wouldn't win the series. Uh, I don't predict it to be easy, uh, not by a long shot. This is a tough team we're playing, they're well coached, but I expect us to win the series. I ain't mean, trying to play this out and to know who win one. I'm trying to carry two straight, get rid of the two, then we ain't going to win the extra one at the end of the day. Finish this off, I'm done. The other two series are continuing tonight. The Defense Force Mercenaries hope to close out the Department of Correction challengers after taking game one. The situation much the same in the feature game. The Bamboo Shack Cybots look to bring out the brooms following a win in the series opener. Fortunately, they were able to, to pull it off. Um, I think we have a, a, a pretty even matchup against them. And I think their lack of experience um, showed down the stretch and as a result of that, they, um, they lost the game. What's going to happen come game two? Same repeat as game number one, and um, hopefully we can beat them um, by at least 10, 15 points. We're trying to make history. I mean, there's only one team in this league that's won four in a row. That's a, uh, the Bamboo Shark Crime Stoppers. And we want to win it as Bamboo Shark Sidewalks. Uh, we want to win four in a row for our sponsor and um, for our club. Coach Peter Pratt held a jumps clinic over the weekend at the QE Sports Center. A number of visiting junior athletes in town looking to hone their craft. He's really worked with us and taught us a lot of new things, and I've just had a fun time with him. What are some of the things you didn't know until you joined the program and you start finding out and start getting better? Um, it was a lot of the little things like my hips and just new drills that we've that he's taught us. Is he tough on you guys? Yeah, but he's fun to work with, and I enjoy him. I learned a lot of new things about triple jump that I didn't know before. When you say new things, like what? Uh, how many different type of jumpers there are. I um, also learn about angle of takeoff, uh, waves to take off, and stuff like that. So you've seen some better results since working on the boost of that? Yes, I've seen lots of better results. Sports psychologist Dr. Margaret Otley was also brought in to be a part of the clinic. Dr. Otley is currently a professor in the kinesiology department at Westchester University in Pennsylvania. She's also a native of Trinidad and Tobago, and she just returned from the Olympic Games in Rio. 
the countries that have the best developmental programs, like this one that we, we're having right now, where we're seeing them in the off season and preparing them, this is really the most crucial time. And uh, it's fortunate that you have Coach, Coach Pratt here who that would recognize this and, and, um, and you know, collaborate with us so that we can help them through this period of, of off season, you know, and help them to get into the season where it may limit the, 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 the um, injuries and, um, and, and have them with the, with the correct mental skills that they would need for focusing or, or, you know, um, and, and having that positive approach. To, to success. The craze of CrossFit continues to grow here in the Bahamas. Over the weekend, a challenge was held in Pompey Square. Kelsey Johnson passed by. It's all about the community, the support shown while working out. This is the driving force with those CrossFit lovers who snatch, pull, and squat every day. I was a college athlete before I joined CrossFit and was wanting something um, that I could do with my friends um, and to lose weight of course and so the community aspect is definitely the driving force behind CrossFit. There are about four CrossFit communities in the country. This newest method of working out is attracting former and current athletes as well as those everyday people who just want to work up a sweat. The growth on the local level has brought in some international competition. And we have over 300 people that come out with us in our group. You know, hopefully we're going to grow to over a thousand. Um, and we have an amazing support from CrossFit Pot Cakes and Charles Johnson here locally. Is this the only stop on your calendar? No, actually, we did, Saturday we were into Freeport, and we were in, uh, in Freeport for about three and a half hours of working out, and then now this is our second stop. And what do you think about the CrossFit communities here? Actually, it's amazing. They're, you know, CrossFit is about community, and about helping each other out. The guys both in Freeport and Charles here in, in Nassau, they come out, they set everything up, they help us out. Without them, we couldn't do it. And then their members come out, and it's like, We've always been friends and we have a great time and we put on this amazing event. And if you think it's an easy workout, well, those who braved the burning sun yesterday had this to say. We know what we're doing and the sun is one of those like natural opponents that's trying to beat you. So it is mind over matter for sure. I'm a part of a great team, a great wad group, CrossFit Pot Cake. Just hearing all of my other members cheering me on, tell me you can do it. It gives you an extra push. The body tells you you can't do it. You got to mind over matter and just keep pushing. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. The New Providence Old Timers Softball Association is rolling along with its 2016 season. Spurgeon Johnson of the Sharks says it's been going pretty well. We've been having a last exciting finish for the last three years. Right now, um, the B division is only separated, top 14 is separated by basically two games, right? We are right now in, on top, and it's only we lose seven and the next team lose eight. That's the fourth place team lose eight, right? So the top four is between seven and eight losses. In the A division, uh, those who pros has run away with the league. They 12 and 0, and they haven't lost anything yet, and everybody else, uh, it's like only one game separating the next three teams. So we're looking for a good finish in the next six, six weeks. That's a look at sports. I'm Chris Saunders. Your final look at weather is still to come. This is